Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Do you remember last time I showed you how to use tabs in Safari so you could do more than one thing at a time? Well, let's say that in that scenario, you actually wanted to see more than one tab at the same time. You know, like you wanted to see the weather forecast and still carry on your chat in a Gmail window. Well, for that to happen, what you'll want to do is to drag a Safari tab into its own window. I'll show you how to do that on the computer in just a minute. And then, just for kicks, I'll show you how to drag a tab from one Safari window to another Safari window. Okay, let's go see that on the computer. Okay, so here we have a Safari window that has three tabs in it. One for Gmail, one for Google Maps, and one for weather.com. Of course, these could be any websites, that so really doesn't matter. But let's say you're in Gmail and you're having a chat, and you would like to look at the weather forecast at the same time. Well, all you need to do is to click with your mouse and hold the mouse button down while you drag this tab off to another part of the screen. Bingo. There you got a new window with just the weather.com tab in it. Now let's say you wanted to drag Google Maps from one window to the other. Well, it's basically the same motion. Click and drag, but instead of just dropping it anywhere, drop it up near the top here of that window. And now you'll see you've added a second tab there. Now one problem you'll see here is that now that there's only one tab or one website left in that original window, you no longer have a tab here saying Gmail. I mean, it's, it tells you Gmail up in the top of the window, but you no longer have a tab like you do over here for Google Maps and weather.com. So I'll show you how to fix that once and for all. Go up to the View menu, click on the Show Tab Bar option. That now will show a tab even if there's only one in the window. And you don't need to remember that because once you've changed that setting, it'll be remembered forever. So now, if you really wanted to, you could click on the last remaining tab in a window, drag it somewhere else, and since it was the last one, that original window disappeared. There you go. Hope that helps, Mom. Talk to you later.